here at the memorial to the wreck of the Dunbar. The Dunbar was wrecked about 500 yards south of this spot, it says, in a heavy northeast sea in Gale at night on the 20th of August 1857. From a total of 122 people, there was only one survivor. And this is the anchor of the Dunbar. This is another reason why Lawrence Hargraves had such a passion and belief in uh, human flight. Sailing around the world for three months was extremely dangerous. When Ralph and he uh, hopped on the Hague to sail to Australia, they were taking an amazing risk. Because many sailing ships did, uh, did uh, sink at sea. Uh, many people died. It wasn't a safe form of travel. It was slow and it was dangerous. And just south of here at Sydney's Gap, the Dunbar most famously crashed into the rocks and all those people were killed. Another reason why human flight was such an important thing uh, to be invented. And one of the reasons why Lawrence was so, so obsessed with achieving that dream of his, the dangers of sailing. the dangers of sea travel. This is the Macquarie Lighthouse. It's standing here above Watson's Bay, not far from where the Dunbar was wrecked. But it was built in 1815. So it was operating that night for the Dunbar. So the Dunbar could see the rocks and the cliffs. But in that big storm, not even the lighthouse could save the Dunbar. And the Dunbar smashed into the cliffs and all those people were killed. It's so tragic, can you imagine sailing for three months from England? You've just about arrived in Australia, you're about to go in Sydney Heads and you die, you drown, you're smashed on the rocks. These are the dangers of sea travel, and even with lighthouses, they couldn't keep people safe. Unlike today, with our radar, and our internet, so many things in planes that keep people safe. The technology, in those days it was extremely dangerous. Another reason why Lawrence Hargrave wanted to invent safe flying machines to move people across the world from point A to point B quickly and safely and bring the world closer together.